Are y'all ready to be entertained? Yeah. DJ Ron's elders, spin that shit! This is Namibia's biggest dragon, which feels so weird to say considering there's not a single law in place to protect LGBTQ people here. In fact, there's laws actively working against them, so being gay here can literally get you put in prison. But that being said, there's not a single seat free here this evening. Namibia's queer scene is loud and proud compared to other African nations, but even here, LGBTQ lives are still at risk. That's why campaigners are now pushing for legal protections in the country's highest court. Colonial era sodomy laws are the biggest hurdles for LGBTQ rights across Africa. When Namibia gained independence, its anti-gay laws stayed. To date, only six out of 54 African countries now have laws that protect gay relationships and state-sponsored homophobia still runs rampant across the continent. A recent decision by the African Union has made the situation even worse by failing to recognize sexual orientation as a protected right. If you look at our statutes, the crime of sodomy is on our books. So now Namibian leaders use that to justify their own opposition to LGBTQ rights. A lawsuit has now been filed in court that will decide the fate of same-sex marriages as well as the future of colonial era sodomy laws. I mean, the worst that could happen is we could lose everything. I'm still not scared. Daniel Degashu and Johan Pock Guitar were legally married in South Africa in 2015 before moving back to Johan's home in Namibia. But the Namibian government refused to recognize their union or give spousal residency rights to Daniel, making it hard for the couple to live together with their son Lucas. We were told not to try and open Pandora's box with, yeah. with, with our marriage being not, not recognized in Namibia. Uh, so we went with the advice from management of the home affairs and we applied for my work visa. Um, and that was rejected and there was no... Yeah, Why? There was no clear reasons of first rejection. They appealed so that Daniel can stay in the country for now. And that appeal for their paperwork has ended up all the way at the Supreme Court as a test of LGBTQ tolerance in Namibia. It's, it's really, I mean, beyond the litigation itself, it's got so much um, emotional impact and damage. Mm. It's been really, really quite heavy. I've had to seek uh, therapy mm. because I had uh, a few, like, panic attacks, mm. and one of them happened while I was driving. And what are your thoughts on the Supreme Court case at the moment? I thought the arguments were really solid, but my emotions couldn't handle listening to the state's arguments. Really? Yeah, 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 because they compared us to animals. Mm. Yeah, and that is dehumanizing, and it's obviously not nice to hear because it's not like you're listening in on someone else's case where you could be, you know, objective and, and sit back and be able to take notes and still say this is not right, but still be able to take it. When they're talking about you... It's personal. Um, it's a bit personal, yeah. Daniel and Johan are up against a conservative Christian movement in a country where 97% of the population identify as Christian. Members of the movement are trying to make sure that the couple don't stay together as a family, and they have the government's ears. Can we all stand, please, and raise our hands to heaven? Father, we pray in Jesus' name for our country, where we are at a watershed moment in history, <clears throat> where the enemy is coming in like a flood to change the laws. Father, we pray that you will send your host of heaven to bring chaos in the plans of the enemy, in Jesus' name. Pastor James Wallace sees the push to legalize same-sex marriages or repealing the sodomy law as a step backwards for Namibia's conservative beliefs. 
giants challenging our country, Namibia. This flood with which our enemy is trying to come against Namibia include the following. LGBTQ legalization, abortion on demand. Throughout his Demon and Giant Slayer sermon, Pastor Wallace used some misinformation tactics sold as scientific facts. According to a scientific study, research has shown that the LGBTQ community has higher rates of suicide, HIV AIDS, murder, cancer, domestic violence, drug abuse. Let's get rid of the demons. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. Thank you for your time. It would be really good to understand why the Supreme Court ruling means so much to you and your church. Why is that? Basically, it will influence a country spiritually, first of all. Poverty can increase. Um, what? Natural disasters can increase. You think? Definitely. So if I was a homosexual, what can I do to get rid of my gay demons? If you, if you, you ask forgiveness, you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, maybe miraculously, immediately, he can heal you from all the desires. What, what do you think you will do if the ruling doesn't go your way? We will just try all the necessary avenues. Parliament will be the last avenue. So today, I'm on my way to the Supreme Court of Namibia uh, to a hearing on the recognition of same-sex marriages involving a Namibian spouse. Omar Van Rienen founded Equal Namibia after experiencing discrimination living as an openly gay person in Namibia. Together with other human rights groups, they have sued the government nine times over colonial-era anti-LGBTQ laws. Maybe I'm a bit too optimistic or not a realist, but call me a hopeless optimistic. I have hope and faith because I know that the constitution will reign supreme. <laughs> Give me some color, baby. There we go. <laughs> How are you feeling about a big old crowd of churchgoers directly behind us, mm -hmm. right there? Mm -hmm. To make you feel nervous? No, absolutely Intimidated? Not. Absolutely not. This is a free country, and that is why we are here too. It is a secular state, so it's disheartening to see them impose their sense of morality on the entire country. Um, but we love them. LGBTQ community has been stigmatized. And the, the answer really is not to, to look into the text of the Constitution. That the Namibian Constitution or the clause in equality, it does not sexual, have sexual orientation as a prohibited ground or illicit ground of discrimination. The judges requested additional time to decide, leaving the issue to a culture war for now. Spread love, not hate. Love always wins. Love over hate. Love over discrimination. Love over bigotry. Because this is a secular state and everybody belongs. We want to take a photo, but they are oh, interfering now. Friday, they took a photo of us. Hello, please. Yeah, hello. Don't, uh, yeah. That's right, ne? If you have your, your things to do, just go to the other side. Despite our repeated requests, the Ministry of Home Affairs, accused of homophobic discrimination, refused to comment, instead referring us to the Ministry of Justice, who told Vice News there is no state-sanctioned homophobia. And as the country waits for the Supreme Court's ruling, Danny, Johan and Lucas's lives continue to be in limbo. If the court case doesn't go your way, yeah. how immediate would it be that you needed to leave Namibia? Yeah. Would it be like instant? I, I, I don't know. It could be immediate. That It could be that they give you like three days, then you have to leave the country. As soon as I started the fight, I realized someone needs to fight for the youth of this country. Someone needs to fight for the people who feel they don't have a voice. Yes. 
it comes at a cost, but I'm ready, I'm willing, let's do it. I'm Michael Learmonth, Editor-in-Chief of Vice News. Too often, traditional news outlets shy away from the real stories and experiences of those living through global conflicts, not Vice News. Our reporters are on the ground, fearlessly covering the human stories that shape our world. You and millions of others can continue to read, watch, and listen to Vice News for free. But we hope you'll consider making a one-time or ongoing contribution of any size at vice.com slash contribute. Every contribution, no matter how big or small, helps support the journalism Vice News brings to you every day. Thank you.